man, God, dog. Your boy up in here looking like I just walked up out of the Stone Age. Yeah, we need to go ahead and change that real quick. Okay, okay. That's a little bit better. It ain't all the way good, you know what I'm saying? I just don't like being beardy like that. Nah, man, I like my stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just pulled up to the gym and it's pouring down rain outside i ain't gonna say that's gonna affect my workout because that's really some boo-boo but still man i was expecting it to be a nice day it's whatever though you know what i'm saying boy still finna make these gains got my homie alishba here from grimaldi's i'm finna help her with her ab routine just you know give her a few pointers or whatever not really training or anything i'm gonna catch up with y'all when i'm doing whatever it is that i'm doing all right, so Elishba done showed up to the session being a baby about it already, talking about don't kill me. But we're about to hit this quick ab set. Well, mm -mm, I don't know if I want to make it quick because I'm training. I'm about to treat her like one of my athletes right now. You got something to say, Elishba? No, you ain't got nothing to say. All right, cool. All right, so we finna hop into this. I may give y'all a few pointers about some abs that I've been thinking about. Yeah, I'm, I might I might do that, but after this. So I'm kind of mad right now because I just realized that uh, while I was doing this whole rest of this little informational video, I had some white stuff around my lips and that's, that's not a good look. So I'm finna redo this. Anyway, just finished the session with Alishba, all right? It went well. Shout out to Alishba. Shout out to all the fam I got at Grimaldi's, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm here to talk about today is what I talked about with Alishba and it's basically just a whole bunch of abs information so i'm sure none of y'all want to hear that so if you don't want to hear it, you know what i'm saying psych boy i know all of y'all want to hear about this ab info all right that's the only thing people want and that's the only thing people hit me up about and i'm gonna tell you what people hit me up with most of the time oh bj oh my god like please help me okay i want to lose fat around you know what I'm saying? my bottom part of my abs all right and i want i want to get some obliques and i want to see all of the stuff that i see in your pictures that's cool, that's great, okay? I'm glad that you hit me up with a goal because a lot of people don't even do that, all right? They just hit me up asking for fitness advice and blah, 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 and don't even know what they want. So, kudos to you on that. But, sadly, that's just not how it works, okay? But I'm gonna let you know how it works, all right? So basically, whenever you do start losing weight and you start cutting down on the amount of body fat that you have, genetics, comes into play with all of that all right so you don't have a choice basically where you get to lose fat and however you get to lose fat that's not up to you all right that's up to the man above and how he made you all right let me explain so whenever i started cutting um i noticed a lot of stuff all right and one of the main things i noticed is that my back got a lot more shredded a lot faster than the rest of my body did all right so before i was seeing any progress in my abs which was really frustrating the crap out of me i was seeing a whole bunch of progress in my back and i was ignoring it the whole entire time all right but the reason why is because my body genetically loses fat faster in the back than it does in my abs and that also has to do with the amount of muscle that I have in my back versus the amount of muscle that I have in my abs, all right? It's two totally different things. I say all of that to say, again, you don't have a choice, all right? You do have a choice to either start cutting or to start bulking, but you don't have a choice of when you start cutting where you can lose the fat, all right? So you may be the type of person that loses a lot of fat in your legs at first, all right? If you're blessed enough, you might be the type of person that has a nice developed six pack and you lose a lot of fat there first. Or you might be one of those people that has a six pack around a year, which is really, really fortunate and you're really blessed and you really shouldn't be complaining about nothing. As for me and a lot of other people, all right, we don't have a six pack around a year because quite frankly, I'm not trying to cut all year, all right? I wanna eat, but that's basically what I'm trying to say, all right? You don't have a choice at all. But the second thing is, when you're bulking or when you are getting into working out you do have a choice to either a work on your abs or b neglect them me i choose to work on my abs not as much as i work on every other body part of course but i do choose to work on my abs but i'm gonna explain to you why i kind of have a little development 
in my abs is because I've been playing football since like second grade, okay? So all of that time, second grade up until my freshman year in college, I was doing ab workouts specifically catered towards football and to help me make gains on the field, not necessarily on camera, if you know what I mean, all right? So I wasn't really trying to make gains just to look good, I was trying to make gains to play good and to make everything that I was doing on the field the best, all right? That being said, when I did finally start cutting, when I found out about this whole fitness lifestyle, my six pack was developed already because I've been doing all of those ab workouts for so long, all right? So if you're one of those people that are just getting into working out or just getting back into working out, all right? Don't count on your abs just showing up like that because your abs may not be as developed as somebody like mine. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but your abs may not be as developed as mine because I spent a whole lot of time working on it during the off seasons that I had and strength conditioning camps and all of that crap. So just a couple tips moving forward. As far as building your abs, what you can do is a lot of strength building exercises. So you can do planks. Anything that you're holding for a long period of time is really good with the abs. Search it, dude. Go on YouTube, go on Google, go on freaking Tumblr. I don't even know, bro. Like they got so much stuff out there. There's so many crazy ab workouts, bro. If you ain't got abs right now, nine times out of, well, hey, it may be genetics. It may be your fault, all right? You gonna, it's up to you to figure out which one of those it is. But anyway, I'm finna go into this gym. I got a leg day. I was thinking about doing a commentary for y'all, but right now, I honestly don't feel like it because it is kind of getting late and I do need to do other things. So that's it for this video. I'm a holla at y'all. Good Lord have mercy. Something just walked out here that just changed my whole life. I wish I could show y'all, but I don't want to look like that. <laughs> Until the next video, I'm a holla at y'all. All right, I'm finna dip up into this gym, smash these legs. Oh, let me let me show you what I got on today. Boy, hold on, I got that MTS. I, got, I always got this hat on when I'm lifting. I got this shirt that I got from, uh, damn, was it Forever 21? I don't know, I just wear this shirt most of the time when I'm doing leg day because it still makes me look swole even though I don't got a pump. And then I got my Nike, you know what I'm saying, Nike shorts on, Under Armour compressions, I'm mix, match, mix matching, I don't care. My little live strong shoes. Wear these shoes because it's flat sole. And be able to do some good work on the squats. See you when I see you. Holla at me. Holla at me. Anyway, if you like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to get back at y'all.